Clutch, Clutch Truckers, Truckers filmed, filmed for a live studio, studio audience. audience. This is this is rusty. No, it's not. This is. Man, no, it's not even. <laughs> yeah, this is Lego. It's rusty. And yes, Rusty the Meatball Dog is still here too. Clutch Trucker now comes with G Fuel. Also, sponsored by G Fuel with the new Clutch Trucker flavor. Use code CLUTCH for 30% off. Hey YouTube, uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, the subject of today's video is... Yeah, finally got home and uh, got my rechargeable work light from Duluth Trading Company, so we're going to touch on both of those. And also, uh, Swift, even though I don't drive for them, I got nowhere near them, they still managed to ruin my trailer. Okay, first update on getting home. If you watched my last couple of videos, you know I was trying to get home and I had that load going to Pueblo, Colorado to a Target distribution center. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the way they had it scheduled uh, for the drop out or for the pickup in Texas where I had to leave my trailer there and get it 24 hours later, then I wasn't able to legally make the delivery uh, the next afternoon and I got a lot of bad information co from Coyote. Uh, when I started calling them at 2 a.m. that Wednesday and saying, hey, I need this rescheduled, and I said, hey, can I just go straight in there and maybe deliver? And they said, oh, no, no, they don't open until 4 p.m. Found out later, that's wrong. Wrong information. Thanks, Coyote. They, they were open 24 hours. I could have gone straight there and at least then gone off duty in their little dirt lot next to it. And even if I had to wait for the appointment, I could have made that work. But no, no, no. I had bad information from Coyote. So I went and parked at the Loves and... Um, was trying to have them reschedule it. Well, they didn't get it rescheduled for that night. The next day, they didn't do anything. Uh, finally, on Friday, after I had made a video complaining about it all, apparently somebody sent it to somebody at Coyote, and they finally got it rescheduled, but not till Saturday morning. So I sat in Pueblo for over three days uh, waiting to deliver this load. So now I get to uh, go there at 6 a.m. Saturday morning to go deliver. I got there right at 6 checked in uh, they had me put the trailer into a door which I did and then they have you leave it <clears throat> and you have to go over to the bobtail area uh, for those of you new to trucking bobtail means uh, it's just your truck without a trailer okay so I went over there and, and waited and waited and waited oh I'm sorry yeah seven hours took them to unload the trailer then when they finally brought the trailer back around this is now 1 p.m. on Saturday mountain time uh, I go hook back up to it, and uh, it was a little bit lower than it was initially, which I thought was weird. So I go back, and I'm trying to crank up the landing gear, and it's barely moving. It's going, ur -it, ur -it, ur -it. and I kind of look at it, and I realize, yeah, they had dragged the trailer with the landing gear down and dragged it on the pavement, so it bent the landing gear. Bent one of them a little bit sideways. That's why it was cranking funny. It, it bent this, you know, other piece. I, I've got a couple pictures. They, they don't really show too well, but we'll try to take a look. So what it comes down to is uh, the Target Distribution Center in Pueblo uses Swift as their yard jockeys. Their their yard dogs, as we call them, or. Uh, yard jockeys which is those little trucks that all they are is just kind of a little cab with a fifth wheel hitch on the back so they can go under trailers and move them around and we're not allowed to pull our own trailer out of our door no we have to rely on them so I had to rely on some flunky who obviously didn't know what he was doing didn't raise it up enough and get the landing gear off the ground before he started to try to pull it and dragged it and bent my landing gear all up so thanks Swift for causing damage to my trailer all right, so at that point, I just wanted to be home. I've been stuck in Pueblo for days. I hadn't been home for more than just a few hours at a time since Christmas. So finally just drove home. Got home that evening, uh, spent time with the family. We had a good time, played a lot of uh, Jackbox party pack, I think is what it is. You know, the, you, know the, no, you don't know Jack and all that, had a lot of fun. Anyway, then Sunday, uh, we hang out, hung out some more, I did some shopping, uh, restocked the trailer, uh, got fresh sheets and comforter and everything all clean, my fresh clothes all stocked, ready to go. Uh, so I'm all ready to move out again. And then of course my birthday was uh, gonna be on Monday, the 6th, which is, at this point is now yesterday. Uh, so we uh, did takeout from uh, Outback to celebrate my birthday, and my wife's birthday was a week and a half ago, so it was kind of a celebration of both. Uh, so we 
brought that home, and it was actually still very good. Good steak. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Uh, good baked potato. Thank you. I love the baked potato. Thank you. Got to have the cheese and the butter on the baked potato to make it right, you know. Otherwise, it's just a spud. Anyway, uh, <coughs> so did that, and then um, was hoping to get a load on Monday. But I knew I needed to get somewhere to get this trailer fixed. I just I started driving east and figured, well, you know, I know it's a day and a half to get to Chicago, which is where I bought the trailer a little, uh, almost two years ago. And I get a better labor rate there. I had called Swift on Monday morning uh, to make a claim. Of course, now I have to get an estimate and all that before they'll maybe pay for it. I hope they do. You better own up to this, Swift, because you, you ruined my stuff. Not happy about it. Not happy, Bob. But anyway, so uh, I just drove through the night. So here it is Tuesday. When I hit Des Moines, uh, Bo at Turquoise did call and he found a load for me to pick up at Berea Pasta. Going to the Chicago area tomorrow. So I'll deliver that. Uh, then I will bring my trailer over to Deluxe Trailer Sales and uh, hopefully they can fix uh, what Swift effed up for me. Thank you, Swift. Uh, you know what Swift stands for? I uh, sure wish I had formal training. So now I'll deliver my load tomorrow in the Chicago area, Chicago Land, as they like to call it. It's not like Disneyland. I I unless traffic is fun, <laughs> come to Chicago Land. Anyway, so uh, after I deliver load, uh, the load in the morning, then I'm going to run down to, to the deluxe trailer sales and drop off my trailer. And hopefully they can fix what Swift screwed up for me. Thanks, Swift. Now they're costing me money again this week. At least this load I picked up did pay me the fuel to get out here. So I'm not completely having to eat it. Just eat it. Just eat it. Ooh. Weird Al reference. Thank you. Uh, also, when I was at home, uh, a couple of my uh, sons, friends. By the way, uh, I got to put a shout out here. Got to check out my son's YouTube channel, X Blue. X Blue, he's got some videos on there, and he had one on there, of course, after I had the New York Times article about how my subscriber count went up, and he was like, uh, my, my dad's going to surpass me. This can't happen. So go check out his channel and subscribe, and maybe I won't get so much hate from my son. I'm just kidding. My, my son loves me, and I love him, right? You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. But anyway, coronavirus, COVID-19 or not, uh, a couple of his friends came over on, uh, I guess that was Monday. And uh, one of his friends, Brendan, who's in a lot of his videos on the X Blue channel, uh, he does office parodies called Coffus. They're very funny. Go check those out. Uh, and one of his friend, Brendan, is always in those videos. And so uh, he always has this look of... So they wanted to see the truck. As, uh, Brendan was like my second subscriber. Thank you to uh, this channel and uh, so that's that that was them in the beginning and uh, I gave him my little Lego car if you search down where I put together a Lego car I gave him that so they were in the video so that was kind of fun I know this is getting long but let's get on to the next topic now to make early on uh, last year when I'm making these videos I decided I, I needed a light because a lot of times I'm making them at night so I found this thing uh, at the Space Age Travel Center uh, in Hermiston, Oregon. It's kind of a good little light. Uh, and it, it would bend so you could set it down. You know, here, if you can see it. There you go. And so forth. Problem is, it takes three AA batteries right down here, which I was having to replace about every two weeks. Two weeks! Uh, because it just goes through them so fast. And it's not the best. Uh, you know, a lot of times when I turn it on, you, you see me slapping it in the videos a lot because it won't keep a consistent light. So weeks ago, I had ordered this light from Duluth Trading Company, a rechargeable via USB cord light that I thought, well, that should solve my problems. And so uh, I'll show you what that light looks like, and we're using it right now to make this video. So now if it seems a little dimmer, I'm back to the old light so I can show you the new light. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to blind you, sorry. I uh, got this one at Duluth Trading Company. I, you know, if you've watched my earlier videos, I got the fire hose, seat bu uh, bucket seat covers, my cab commander, which holds my maps and everything else on my passenger seat. Uh, they got some great stuff. I got my tool bag from them. Uh, so, and the neat thing is you can order online. But, so I got, I ordered this like before the COVID-19 and all that really started happening. 
This is the Tango. There you can see right there. Oh yes, Tango. Uh, super bright, 1,000 lumens, rechargeable, dual light. 750 lumens, uh, work light. 250 lumens, spotlight. <clears throat> it's a beautiful thing, and you can turn them both on at the same time. Uh, and it's made by Nebo, or as I'm looking at it, Oben. I think it's Nebo. But it's called the Tango work light and you can see it's you know kind of the way it's designed these are like rubberized corners so you can you know beat it up a little bit and uh, on the back it came with uh, a USB cord which was wrapped around this back side here but it, it doesn't really stick on there all that well any plain old USB cord with the big end here or as they say down south the big end the big end uh, and the little end micro USB right uh, then goes into the back here so you plug it in there and you can plug that into the, your main since I only have one USB extra USB port then that's good but so this light also while you're charging it you can plug another USB cord into right here and still charge like a phone or in my case my headset is what I'm usually charging or my emoji speaker so it's kind of a, got its own power bank, which is cool. Uh, and it's got this kick-out stand. See right here? Aha! Uh -huh. So you can set it on things. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Uh, main reason I bought this, because like I say, I was buying uh, three AA batteries for that damn light once every two weeks. And if you buy them at truck stops, batteries like that are expensive. Ten bucks every couple of weeks. So this light was $40, $39.95. Paid for itself. And it even comes on the top and the back. You can see it has the removable plug-in house charger for the USB on that side. Thank you. And it's put on with Velcro at the top, so it just stays there. And uh, like I said, got the little kickstand. And then here's your power switch. Um, and it's even dimmable. I haven't taken all the extra stickers off the front because I wanted to show you as if it were an unboxing, but. I didn't unbox it because it just came in the box wrapped in bubble wrap, baby, thank you. Uh, so here it is, but it's a good light. It's dimmable, but the problem is I found, and I'll show you right here, it's so bright when you turn it on initially, see, it just blinds everything. You can dim it if you hold the switch down. You can see it dimmed down, but you see what's happening? You see all these wavy lines going in the video? So I can't use the dim mode because it's, pulsating or something so I have to go to the full and I what I found to make this work for the videos is I take a couple layers of paper towel and tape them over the lens and that's how I was doing it earlier and that seemed to work well but it's a work light you charge you can recharge it this is what's really cool about it and it's really bright uh, and then it has the spotlight at the top but you can just aim, see, right at people and blind people. Thank you. Um, but so not only is it going to be good for making my YouTube videos, but when I'm working on the truck stuff at night, well, it's got the little kickstand, or you can flip that all the way up and like hang it from something. And like I say, it's rechargeable. And that's the beautiful thing. See, it says right here, rechargeable. Oh, oh, oh. So for 40 bucks, this kind of industrial light from Duluth Trading Company I think is a beautiful thing and so far I'm pretty impressed and again if you're wanting to get one of these of course now with all the coronavirus stuff going on <clears throat> getting stuff even through Amazon and Duluth Trading Company and all that is now taking weeks where it used to be just days see my other lights flickering on me this is why I'm, I was getting so tired of that see now it's gone completely out yeah, there it is. so this is the Tango work light with the spotlight up here uh, and it's clutch trucker approved I think it's a beautiful thing I just like the fact that then I don't have to keep buying batteries I've got a USB port in the truck I'm driving all the time uh, so when this one uh, this will apparently run for a few hours on the highest setting I can just plug it in while I'm driving down the road then when I get parked at night want to make a video well thanks to the Tango work light it can happen so now we're switched back to the Tango work light. Don't look directly at it or all you'll see is spots. Uh, 
Anyway, so I think you can see it illuminates a little bit better. You can see me forward and back. Got a little shadow behind me. I can do puppets. Hello, Kirby D. Frog here. Anyway, hey, I know this video went way long, uh, and I'm sorry about that, <clears throat> but thanks for tuning in. I'm sure a lot of you left a long time ago. For those of you who have still made it to this point, thank you, and I appreciate it. Uh, I'll keep updating as things go on. Uh, hopefully my trailer will get fixed. Uh, I have noticed in the last day or so a lot less trucks out here on the road. That's kind of frightening. I don't like that, and the rates have not been good. So we'll see what happens, and I'll give you more updates on COVID-19 and trucking as the days progress. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, by the way, I'm sitting here at like a gas and sip or something with some truck spots behind it in Marshalltown, Iowa. I know, I hadn't heard of it either. Uh, please subscribe, uh, please comment, please like, please ring the bell for notification. As always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, clutch out.